I think it's been a while since we did one of these. And hey, the last one did pretty darn well. So, let's have another go, shall we? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. J2800 here. Hope you've been doing well. Now, riddle me this. What makes Bionicle so great? Well, that answer may depend on the person, and that same person will likely list a variety of reasons. One reason that is likely to come up time and time again is the characters. We stuck with these heroes and villains for many years, and they are one of the main aspects that kept us going throughout the series' run. They were usually well written and had distinctive personalities. Heck, even if you aren't as big as a Bionicle nerd as I am, there is likely at least one character you stuck with. And today, I'm going to tell you my favorites. Now please. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the- Hello there! <laughs> Wait, what? Hey everyone, it's me, Jaller! Wait, Jaller? HBOD247's Jaller? Yeah, why? Uh, didn't you die in my farewell video? Anyway. Ah! Oh, if you're such a fan of me, you should know that I've been through worse. Touche. Anyway, I suppose you could join me for this countdown. Great! Here is my top 10 favorite Bionicle characters. Whoa, wait, yours? Number 10! Action! Uh, this is not your list. Action is one of the best guys I know. No matter what, he's by my side. Even if he doesn't always like me. Why are you talking about the universe on HBOT's channel? This is supposed to be the main Bionicle universe. Wait, I sound like a commentator now. Well, this is going to be a thing. I might as well get into the part. Why'd you turn into Tahu? To get into the commentating mood. Not to mention, I just feel like it. Well, alright then. Number nine, Hooky. You're you're not gonna elaborate any more on that? Oh, I took at least partial inspiration from your old countdowns. What? Oh, relax. Not everything. Well, based on this list so far, it's not a good sign. And bringing that up doesn't help matters. Hooky's my brother, and that's why he's number nine. There's not much more I need to say. Yes, there is. What makes him a good character? What do you like about him? Is there anything relatable? And why are you still hijacking my video? Number eight, Bruno. Uh, you do realize that's Hero Factory, right? Wait, he is? Huh, I wasn't able to notice the difference. Just look at the building styles between you and most of his forms. You ain't made up of CCBS. Well, you know what? It's more list, and I get to make all the rules. It's in the title! Bionicle characters! He's not a Bionicle! Please ignore the man who is using images he found online. Anyway, Ferno is one of the most popular characters in the Bionicle universe. He's one of the few characters who has appeared in nearly every single story arc. His staying power is what keeps him at number 8. How well does he develop as a character? Wait, what? You did say he's been around for every story arc of a series, and you're not wrong about that. So how is his character development? Not very good, honestly. But he looks really cool in each generation, and we all know the design is the biggest factor in a good character. I should probably make my obituary. I, I, I really don't think I'm going to make it. Number 7! The Terminator! Uh, uh, he's not a Bionicle character! Or even a Lego character! You do realize I'm an idiot, right? That is no excuse! I'm autistic, and you don't see me using that as an excuse! Anyway, the Terminator is just plain awesome. He was once a man, but was rebuilt thanks to six million dollars. Wrong character. I wish you were of all the cool things Terminator's done, but this channel is family friendly. So I'll just say if your parents will let you watch the movie and see it for yourself. Well, at least you have the decency to respect my more family friendly beliefs. But... You were showing small clips without all the excessive blood and gore. Technically, most of these clips were family friendly. 
You can continue doing that and still get your point across. Number six, Roadhog. What? What? How? He's not even a robot. Not even a cyborg. Well, he's a skin coat tunnel, right? Well, uh, yes, uh, but ha! Outsmart ya? Not really. This might be 800 pounds, 550 pounds, whatever. He's still one of the most dangerous characters on this list with his hook and scrap gun, especially if you know the combo. Okay, so he's dangerous gameplay-wise, but what about his actual character? Gameplay and characterization are for the most part two different things. Hello? Take 5, I'm watching Hero Factory, it's my favorite show! Deller, you do realize that's a wall, right? Huh, well that explains why I was so quiet. How have you survived for this long? By eating nothing but cheesecake. Then you should be dead. I have a good metabolism. I'm surprised you even know what that word is. Or even used it correctly. Anyway, number five! Red and Link! You know, I don't even know why I'm trying anymore. Red and Link have eaten some of the most disgusting food imaginable, like spider sushi and crayon ice cream sandwiches. They also have their own show on YouTube, Red! That doesn't make for a good character. I don't know what will. But that doesn't. Again, that doesn't explain how they are good characters. You talk about their achievements, but how is that translating to their characteristics? Uh, hold on a moment. How are they even characters? They're real people. Because they're on an internet series. So is John John a character? Is Rabbit Luigi a character? Is Manny Max sixteen thirteen a character? Am I a character? Yes. You need to see a psychiatrist. No, I should see his construction worker. No, that's the type of response I should have expected from you. Number four! Michael Rosen! Eh, <laughs> uh, at least he picked a good meme. Now, I know most of you were expecting Robbie Rotten. No one was. Neither Mr. Rotten nor Mr. Rosen are bionicle characters. The latter isn't even a character unless you count all the YouTube poops he's been in. Which I am. I should have expected as such. But unlike Robbie Rotten, Michael Rosen has done it all. Eating chocolate cake, fought against a pirate apocalypse, been in all sorts of adventures with people who looked like him, not to mention, he's been a meme much longer than Robbie Rotten. Well, if you include We Are Number One, then yes, you would be correct. However, Robbie Rotten has also been in You Are a Pirate, a previous meme, which started to gain notoriety around 2006-2007. Michael Rose on YouTube poops didn't start becoming popular until about 2009. You do realize you're trying to use intelligent thought in a video with me, right? Well, someone has to. Anyway, number three, chicken parmesan. What? Were you expecting response? After everything that's happened, I'm not even surprised anymore. There's something so interesting about chicken parmesan, and the reason why it's on here is so personal. It saved my life. If you're wondering how, I was lost in the freezing tundra. All alone. And then, there it was. I played a hot, warm chicken parmesan. I then ate it and regained my strength. Ever since then, I always look back at that day. The day food saved my life. Wait a moment. I thought you said that you've eaten nothing but cheesecake. Well, I have to make exceptions every now and then. Sounds like you're just making stuff up as you go. Maybe. Anyway, number two, Donald Trump. No, 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 no. We are not bringing politics in here. The current political climate is toxic enough as it is. Okay, okay, yeesh. Some people just can't take other people's opinions. It's not me to worry about. It's the comment section and Twitter and Tumblr and 4chan. Fine. So now. We are number one. We have seen the best of the best, the deepest, most compelling, most lovable characters in the Bionicle series. You know, give or take a few exceptions, or just about all of them. But now, who is my favorite Bionicle character? Well, I'm glad you asked. That would be the almighty, the glorious, the lovable, the compelling, flying Twinkie! What? Okay! At least the other entries, you know, actually exist. Whether real or fictional, people know about them. The Flying Twinkie, it's just a running gag that I made up. I've never even shown it. But that's what makes it the best character. It's endearing even though we know nothing about it. 
is an icon of stupidity. Just like me. Well, at least you're being honest about that. D uh, do I really need to go into my final thoughts? I think I've made myself clear. Kids, don't be Jowler. And if you want to be Jowler, be the Bionicle Jowler, not the H-Bot Jowler. Well, that was a lot of fun. For you, maybe. For me, no. Now, can I please have my countdown back? Oh, sorry about that. I gave it to Michael Rosen to eat. Wait, what? <laughs> nice. How, how is this all happening? It's like I'm going in a downward spiral into madness. Nothing makes sense anymore. What is the meaning of life? Who is the meaning of life? What is death? What is a banana? Apparently Flying Twinkie is an actual character now. I swallowed my laptop last week. My roommate turned into a Yoshi. The news media is the true source of information. I'm just rambling now. Why are you guys even paying attention? <laughs> Then, uh, get around! Right, that's enough. Well, that was a complete waste of my time. LMC, when aren't you wasting time nowadays? Eh, touche. Back to YouTube. <laughs>
comes. What are you doing? Out! 